I want to get curb stomped by hop flavor. We're looking for hops. Smell the pine in that one too. The hops, we're coming back to the hops. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one is quite hoppy. This one has a weird aftertaste, but let me try to figure out what it is exactly. This is like an orange peel. Am I just drunk or there's a little bit of a funk to this, mm -hmm. like a blue cheese type of funk to it. It's got a little bit of a... Smelly sort of smell. <laughs> SpongeBob, <laughs> anyone? That has to do with the fermentation. The fermentation's very skunky, mm -hmm. funky. Um, funky sort of skunk. Funk, it's a funky skunk. Tastes dirty. Yeah, like if I <laughs> breathed out in this one, it, tastes like, it wouldn't smell good. They throw a sock. <laughs> I don't like it, but it's it's weird because it's not terrible, but I don't like it. How's the mouth feel? Oh, the mouth feel. The mouth feel is very good. Mm -hmm. It is about the smoothest finishing pale ale I've ever had. There's enough hops for me to say that she's a little kinky, mm -hmm. this one. Yep, this is definitely not a hit it and quit it. This is one that I am going to return to. I just taste a lot of hops. There's a lot of hops, and I'm getting like a finish of like some like four-year-old ranch dressing right at the back there. Just a real little bit of creamy funkiness. Not a bad thing. If you like that fermented, uh, heavily fermented flavor, very clean, very crisp really hops forward. Like you no yeah. longer want to have eyebrows after you drink this for a night. The IPA lovers IPA. Yeah. So you probably hate it. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> it's your throat here, in here. <laughs> you know. It's one of those IPAs that like, the first sip is really, really good, but then the flavor sort of builds up in the back of your mouth and slowly crawls forward. And so this is the kind of beer you need to eat with like, a dozen hot wings. This is an IPA that like I would probably like see on the menu and be like, I'm an IPA drinker, I'm gonna get this. And then finish it and be like, oh yeah, this is great because I love IPAs and hate it the entire time. I feel like because you like $9 IPAs, you're drinking it. Yeah. And you're gonna fake it till you make it. Yes, and yeah, we're good at that. And Market Garden Brewery, Citramax. Okay, so we're back to Market oh, Garden. This is the Citramax, which okay. I had said previously that I liked, and I still do. You know, I, I don't taste the citrus as much, but I didn't it's either. I got a little out when it comes to hops. Apparently, I taste the ranch dressing in this now. <laughs> you say citrus, and you say orange. I did. We say oranges. Yeah, citrus. I have. <laughs> I have the gift. I could be like one of those people that travels to taste things. Truly. A food critic. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let me sample it one more time, excuse me. Citrus socks, Max. Yeah, wow. I thought I liked this. Fairly classic IPA, very well done. I don't like really the hop aftertaste, but a lot of people do, so if that's your thing, I think you'll really enjoy this one. Maybe there's just ranch in that bottle. <laughs> they just, yeah. Someone at someone at the at the uh, market garden plant was like, "F it." 